everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for a very exciting Avalon Waterways webinar. My name is Anna. I'm an industry relations manager here at CLIA, and I'm going to just quickly go through some housekeeping before introducing our presenter. The webinar will run about 25 minutes with time for questions at the end. Please feel free to type your questions into the questions module of the webinar, and we'll get to them at the conclusion of the presentation. The webinar is being recorded and will be posted on CLIA's YouTube channel, which is CLIA Global. And with that, it is my pleasure to introduce our presenter, Corey McGillivray. Corey is Channel Marketing Manager for the Globus family of brands and started his career in travel at ASTA, where he was in charge of supplier memberships. He moved to Vacation.com as an inside sales manager, where he led internal efforts for membership sales and renewals. Moving to Colorado in 2013, Corey started with Globus as a training specialist and has spent the last nine years servicing all marketing and training needs for our industry partners and is incredibly excited to be joining us today. And with that, take it away, Corey. Awesome. Thank you so much, Anna, and welcome to all of our partners on the line who joined us for this webinar on Active and Discovery River Cruising with Avalon Waterways. Now, before I kick things off, I do just want to say thank you for your perseverance. Um, you know, the last two and a half, three years have been incredibly daunting. And the fact that you are still here, you are still fighting strong, you're still making vacation dreams come true is an absolute testament to your resilience. So hopefully um, as, we, as we head further into 2022, things are clearing up a bit and hopefully bookings are continuing to flow in your doors. Um, my goal today is to get, out, get you out of here in a timely manner but really armed to capitalize on not just active and discovery river cruising, but give you some background um, as you transition possibly from selling ocean into river and tell you a little bit about the Avalon value. You know, over the last 10 years, river cruising has grown and it's really made waves in the travel industry and proving that when it comes to bodies of water, ships and cities, you know, bigger isn't always necessarily better. And Avalon Waterways has led that way with our spacious, our innovative, our award-winning sweet ships. Our travelers, your clients, they enjoy a more intimate experience with a phenomenal crew to passenger ratio, that personalized attention so many clients crave and seamless sightseeing at the most welcoming of ports. You combine that with some of the highest health standards and environmentally conscious practices in the industry, and an Avalon Waterways River Cruise gives travelers peace of mind throughout their vacation, from embarkation all the way to that last goodbye. So in today's presentation, like I mentioned, we're gonna cover kind of three primary areas. We're gonna do a quick review of the Avalon value. We're gonna talk about how we're a little bit different from ocean cruising. You know, as Anna mentioned, I have a pretty uh, well-versed background and love ocean cruising. I myself have been fortunate enough to travel on over 20 of them. But I think as you are either new to river cruising or just need a refresher, there are some key differences. And of course, we'll wrap it up with some expanded information on active and discovery and why they're a great fit for certain clients and who those clients may be. You know, Avalon truly reinvented river cruise ships. There is no other fleet of river cruise ships that offers your clients a view of the world like Avalon suite ships. We feature our panorama suites, which are 30% larger than the industry standard, and they create River Cruising's only open air balcony with absolutely nothing between your clients and the view. You know, we've sort of mastered that art of blending luxury and comfort, and now we blur the line between outside and in. So while other River Cruise cabins are designed with, you know, beds against the wall for a view of another wall or maybe a TV, our comfort collection beds actually face the view with the widest opening, wall-to-wall, -wall, floor to ceiling panoramic windows in river cruising. Think of it as a view with a room. And of course, I can't go any further without showing you an image of this beautiful panorama suite and the views that your clients can enjoy, but also give a little bit of a birthday shout out because with the introduction of the Avalon view, we now have obviously a completely sweet ship fleet but the Panorama Suite is actually entering its 13th year of operation on Avalon, or excuse me, on the rivers of Europe. So it's an award-winning um, cabin design. And I do just want to take a minute and highlight that Cruise Critic, which I'm sure so many of you are familiar with, is the ultimate authority in river cruising 
actually designated Avalon as the best cabins in river cruising for over four years running. So I think it's a good opportunity to talk about those kind of two primary selling points of the Panorama Suite. And I mentioned their size, but it's important to remember that river cruise ships, they have to be built to the same width to fit through this, the, the various navigational locks throughout Europe. So if all ships have to be built to the same width, except for our friends at AMA that do have the AMA Magna that can only sail certain portions of the Danube. But if you put a balcony on the outside of a stateroom, then they'd lose a minimum of 30 square feet of space inside. You can't go any wider, so you have to take that space from somewhere within the room. So our suites and savers were specifically designed to maximize the guest space and views during their cruise. But we at Avalon, we don't just reserve that warmth and comfort for your client's room on an Avalon River cruise. We share that kind of welcoming spirit throughout the entire ship, and we carry it onto shore as well. From the captain, to the cruise director, to your stateroom attendant, to the wait staff, we aim to deliver exquisite service as professional, courteous, and informative. But our approach is never stuffy. You know, it creates an atmosphere of relaxed luxury, like our casual and comfortable dress code that's really only divine, defined by your client's individual preference. And after all, your comfort is our top priority, both on and off the ship. When I say off the ship, those friendly local guides are there to greet your clients at every port with, you know, engaging tales and really bring them closer to the destination and help it come alive. So whether your clients are on board or they're on shore, we take special care to ensure that they are perfectly taken care of every step of the way. So here's where I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the key differences between ocean cruising and river cruising. Again, not that one style is better than the other, but I think if you're, again, new to it or you just need a refresher, there's just some key things to remember and distinctions between ocean and river cruising. River cruise vessels are built to slowly sort of navigate the world, weaving and meandering rivers to port in those really like beautiful European storybook settings to sail under centuries old bridges and squeeze between those 12 meter wide locks. So we think of our ship as a floating boutique hotel that holds an average of just 150 guests, although some in our fleet are even smaller. Sweet ships on the Mekong River, for instance, have just 18 staterooms and have a max capacity of 36 cruisers. And while the passenger numbers are low, our onboard crew to the passenger ratio is high. In fact, on every ship, the average guest to crew ratio is three to one. So that means that travelers have crew members easily and happily catering to their needs every single moment of every single day. You know, unlike our ocean cruising brothers and sisters, which offer guests, you know, a plethora of large scale onboard entertainment activities catering to hundreds or sometimes thousands of guests, river cruises are just not built that way. You know, instead, river cruise itineraries are really destination focused with local guides who help travelers experience and even connect with the world around them. So most river cruise itineraries are also, they sail off the beaten path. They visit those small fairy tale villages, those quaint village squares, and family owned wineries, which who doesn't love a winery visit, especially with lots of tastings, bakeries, restaurants all along the way. Further, queues are not news on the world's rivers. You know, it's not about lines because Avalon Waterways excursions typically accommodate smaller groups of guests at a time providing every traveler an immersive and an authentic experience. On a river cruise, this may seem pretty obvious, but travelers are not at sea, so they don't get seasick, nor is there cabin fever when you have days at sea. Instead, river cruises wind and bend through hearts of those fascinating countries, providing a panoramic view at all times. They're always within a few feet from shore, so travelers are going to pass clifftop castles, hillside vineyards, ancient villages, and in some really bustling capital cities. Every day and even every night, travelers have quick and easy access to ports of call, local hosts, immersive experiences, and even 
health and medical professionals if needed, which obviously in today's time is always a, a kind of hopefully a reassuring thing for your clients to understand. And there's no doubt in everything that we do, the safety, the health, and the well-being of our guests and your clients and our crew is always a top priority. So Avalon Waterways takes the idea of, you know, leave a little sparkle wherever you go to a whole new level. And our ships are subject to the highest safety and hygiene standards. I just want to share a quote from one of our travelers in 2021. The ship was immaculately clean. The food and wine were, of course, outstanding. The ship was small enough that everyone could fit into the dining room comfortably all at once. And it simply amazed me that they had a person on our boat that apparently did nothing but clean up the steps, up and down, on the inside entry to the boat. Stairs and rails have never been as clean. And you know, there's no doubt, today's world has changed. But what remains certain is Avalon's commitment to our guest safety, comfort, and especially peace of mind. So to that end, we've really established a set of enhanced onboard protocols and procedures through what we call an Avalon Assurance Program. And that main goal is to ensure the health, the happiness of our guests throughout their entire cruise with us. So whether that's different approaches to cleaning on board, UV lighting to disinfect rooms in common areas, figuring a way to serve food in a hygienic, proper way to, pre to prevent any sort of transmissible issues. We've done everything physically possible to ensure that your client's health and safety is again, our number one priority. It starts with our global health and safety team, which their entire job is dedicated to ensuring the cleanliness of all operations exceeding today's travel standards from start to finish. And if you're wondering if they work, they certainly do. In 2021, our guests weathered the COVID-19 pandemic in the comfort of our travel bubbles, on land, on rivers, across the globe. So as a result, our health and safety record is unmatched with zero on-trip COVID cases after hundreds of departures in Europe, Egypt, and the Galapagos. So now we're gonna pivot a little bit about kind of the primary point of today's webinar is to go a little bit more in depth about active and discovery river cruising with Avalon Waterways. And it, they really truly are extraordinary experiences that only Avalon can offer your clients. You know, everyone travels to see new things, but a lot of your clients travel to do new things as well. So with our active and discovery river cruises, Avalon offers activities for travelers with truly varying interests and for all energy and fitness levels. Whether it's action-packed experiences and interactive discoveries, or even what some would consider that traditional sightseeing, your clients can truly tailor a trip to suit their interests and pace as they go. So if one day they're interested in a more of a classic experience, they have that opportunity. The next day, if they wanna paddle a canoe, paint a painting in the style of Van Gogh, they have those options awaiting them each and every single day. So you can see on my screen here, we have six uh, active and discovery cruises that are operating in 2022 with active and discovery in Holland and Belgium, along the Rhine, along the Danube, the Rhone, the Seine, and the Moselle. And for 2023, we're expanding that offering even more with a focus on the lower Danube and also on the Danube from Croatia, an incredibly hot destination that I'm sure you've had lots of interest from, all the way to the Black Sea. So Active Discovery has been around for a few years now, and those of you that are familiar with it have probably seen this portfolio continue to grow and grow. And that's because of the response we have from travelers, from our travel partners, and their desire to have more opportunities to get back on Avalon waterways and see these countries in just a bit of a different light. So what really makes Active and Discovery, and more importantly, Avalon Choice, such an important component of this, not only just this river cruise style, but we offer Avalon Choice on our more traditional as well. And it really comes down to the options in port with classic, discovery, and active. We've designed include excursions and onboard activities for a, a choice of experiences. So we invite your clients to select the tours, the activities, the events that interest them most each and every day so they can experience their cruise their way. 
So just to give you a little bit of an idea of what's offered on each and every Avalon Waterways itinerary, we have our classic Avalon Choice activities, which is your more traditional guided sightseeing and what you expect today. If you want to hit those must-see sites in a destination, this is going to be the excursion for your clients. Of course, they'll have an expert local guide that will bring the destination to life, but it's a little more of that familiar experience on a river cruise. Our discovery choices allow your clients to spend your day doing what their heart desires and sort of where their passion takes them. So whether it's painting, whether it's cooking classes, or actually working on a farm, it's an oyster farm, so it's a bit more fun than it sounds, we'll bring that destination to life in a truly unique and engaging way. And lastly, for the traveler who thrives on motion and action, Avalon has created a broad menu of energetic excursions. So the clients may find themselves on a jogging tour through Amsterdam, a biking tour around Vienna, maybe a canoe trip on the Danube. From a climbing trip up to a medieval castle to hiking in the forest, these included excursions pack that sort of real get up and go for those who like to do the same. And of course, there's folks that may want a bit more customization or those making the most or looking to make the most of that free time. That is not a ton when you start to look at all the different options that await your clients. They have an opportunity to use Avalon Go, which is our actual on-trip app, and they can purchase some optionals or get advice from the adventure, uh, the adventure host that is on every Avalon Waterways cruise for some additional ideas to get out and explore the local areas. So what makes these even so is more like a little more special and what makes them stand out when you look at these versus our standard kind of offering. And we talked about how they're a whole new way to cruise and Avalon's leading the way by offering something no one else is, but it doesn't stop there. You know, here are some things that make active discovery cruises different from what else is on the market. Cover distance. You know, Avalon active discovery cruises cover a little bit less distance than classic Avalon itineraries or river cruise products offered by some of our competition. But this means that you are getting to your destination quicker, so you're able to enjoy what the port and destination have to offer. Scenic sailing. You now, due to the pace, it allows sailing of some of the most scenic river stretches during daylight hours. So the ship, therefore, is no longer the hotel that brings guests overnight from city to city. The views of the impressive river landscapes become a highlight of the journey. We have more time in port. You know, Avalon Active Discovery Cruises allow for more time in cities due to the nature and this travel style and all the engaging choices those, your clients have once they are in port. And of course, when you look at Active and Discovery versus traditional, there are more Active and Discovery options. So what you can see on my screen here is a, hopefully an easy way to understand the breakdown and the main difference when you're comparing this to sort of a traditional river cruise style. So where you'd normally see more classic opportunities on a traditional river cruise itinerary, it's flipped when you look at Active and Discovery, with nearly 80% of the Avalon Choice excursions being in that Discovery or Active category. So who's kind of that Active Discovery cruise for? Well, as we've come to find out over the last couple of years, it's for everyone. But to give you a more narrow view, these are especially great options for clients who want a little more get up and go and a bit more variety than traditional cruising. These are great for multi-gen. They're great for families, girls trips. It's ideal for groups with, that may have varying tastes, but still want to travel together. Maybe mom and dad are interested in a discovery opportunity. Grandma and grandpa are interested in something classic and teenagers all the way up to young adults are looking more for that active option. They can all go about their day, choose the itinerary that makes the most, or the option that makes the most sense for them, and come back and tell stories and even get a little competitive about who made the best choice on that given day. So now I just want to take a few minutes to take a look at two of our active and discovery cruises of the eight we offer to give you a feel for sort of how they work. Starting with active discovery on the Danube. So whether your clients are an art lover, a foodie, a history buff, or an energetic adventurer, their active discovery cruise on the Danube River offers just right included activities and excursions to suit those interests. From classic to active to discovery inclusions, they can explore and experience each destination their way, all the way from Degendorf to Budapest with the options to add additional nights in Budapest or even have a pre-night pre options with Prague. 
So whether they prefer browsing the art collection of the Habsburg Empire, sipping local vintages and Austrian wine tasting, maybe it's joining a canoe excursion. This Act and Discovery cruise is packed with Avalon choice inclusions for every single preference and pace in every place that we go. So whether it's classic sightseeing with a local guide, an active excursion by bike, hike, or canoe, or that creative experience in culinary and performing arts, there's no doubt that they will find the perfect way to spend their day. They can sample cheese and beer made by Trappist monks and explore their abbey gardens. They can choose an insider's tour of Vienna or join a canoe excursion. This Act Discovery River Cruise has something for every interest, whether it's wine tastings to a hike to Count Dracula's prison tower, or maybe they want to visit Belvedere's palace in Vienna to see the Kunstrenau the Kiss. Maybe it's a medieval knights tournament at a Wiesgrad castle. The adventure is entirely up to your clients. Their active discovery Danube River Cruise can be as active or it can be as leisurely as they would like. Next up, we have active discovery on the Rhone, which when you start to hear about some of the inclusions and options along this one, certainly be my preference on my next Avalon itinerary. But of course, you're gonna have classic sightseeing, relaxing activities, along with the choice of included arts, culture, cuisine excursions for the French vacation that your clients have dreamed of. And of course, you have the opportunity to add Paris. If you're gonna be in France, how can you not if you've never been? Act and Discovery Rhone River Cruise with Avalon Choice includes activities, excursions to experience the Rhone River their way. As I mentioned, it's full of Avalon Choice excursions along the Rhone. They can choose active classic discovery included excursions that speak to them. So whether it's casual and leisurely to cultural and active. In addition to that classic sightseeing and relaxed free time, they can visit an oyster farm. They can bike through Camus Museum excuse me, regional nature park to spot flamingos. They can take a painting workshop in Arles in the style of Van Gogh. They can take a kayak excursion or linger in corner cafes. They can stroll Avignon's Papal Palace. They can attend wine tastings in an underground cave, which I have to stop and go into detail on this one a bit more. So obviously you can see on my screen here, these uh, awesome getups that some of our travelers are in. So they actually go spelunking in caves in the complete pitch dark. They're doing a wine tasting. Obviously a little bit of a flash here so you can see what everyone's wearing. But there's a uh, sommelier down there that when you, the, the lore I guess of it is, is when you have all of your senses dulled, taste becomes that much more prevalent. So you have a wine tasting in the dark. You can join culinary walks to discover architecture, local specialties, take cooking classes. I mean, this itinerary on the Rhone River Cruise, it includes all the you know, activities and excursions to experience the Rhone River their way and at their pace. Now, I do have a video that I'd like to share with you guys. I know we're about 20-ish minutes in, um, but I think this will help really bring to life uh, what active and discovery river cruising is all about with the Globus, or excuse me, with Avalon Waterways. Why do we travel? Is it to see new things? Or to try new things? Is it to go back centuries? Or to be in the moment? Is it to take pictures? Or to take action? We travel to see the works of sculptors and painters and to imitate their techniques. We travel to meet bakers and chefs and to saute in their kitchens. We travel to meet farmers, vintners, and brewers, and to taste their divine secrets. We go out into the world to forge new paths and to discover old ones. We follow sweet aromas, alluring fragrances, and complex bouquets. We pedal and paddle, jog and climb, dabble and dance, and even march to the beat of our own drum. We journey to examine and explore, to listen and learn, and to engage and enjoy with hands-on and hands-off. We travel to walk in the footsteps of all who have come before us, warriors and soldiers, emperors and kings, 
sailors and sirens, architects and builders, none of whom, by the way, were ever bystanders. So when we travel, why should we be? Engage, interact, indulge, only on active discovery cruises, exclusively from Avalon Waterways. All right, so hopefully that gives you a little bit of a firsthand look um, at what some of our active and discovery cruises can be like if you want to get on your own. Oh, let me skip past that, sorry guys. Um, if you are looking for a way to experience it, I do encourage all of you to check out our Avalon Sweet Rewards fan program uh, with just some very simple kind of uh, uh, requirements. You can experience a panorama suite on an active and discovery river cruise for an incredibly low rate. We have all that information on our Travel Advisor portal. And before I open up to any questions that Anna may have received, I do just want to show you how many promotions we currently have available for your clients. Whether it's 399 Air, that can save with, that's combinable with up to 2,000 off per couple. Maybe they wanna save 3,000 per couple for groups of eight or more. There's a lot of opportunity for you to get your clients on an Avalon Waterways River Cruise at an amazing price. So for those of you that may not have access to the Travel Advisor portal, I encourage you to sign up because as you can see, there are a host of itineraries that would qualify for some of these amazing offers and tons of different offers available depending on where your clients are looking to go. So with that, that's all I have in terms of content to present. Um, Anna, do we have any questions for today? Thank you so much, and we do have a few coming in. I'll invite everybody to keep them coming. Our first one is from Sheila, who is wondering how handicap accessible Avalon is. So I, whenever I do get this question, my, my number one response is always reach out to our operations team to, to kind of go through what some of the, um, the restrictions for your clients may be. Generally, our rule of thumb, and this is not set forth by Avalon Waterways, this is actually some of the maritime laws in Europe, is that a traveling companion has to be able to help the person leave the ship in an event of emergency. So generally that does not mean full electric wheelchairs, um, which is kind of one of the limited, limiting restrictions we do have in place. When it comes to dietary restrictions, we can match anything under the sun. Um, when it comes to a lot of different medical conditions, uh, we, we can make accommodations whether medical supplies needs to be stored, certain machines need to be in place, we can always, um, work with what those may be, but your best answer to that question is always gonna be able to reach out to our reservations team who can get some of those operational questions answered. Okay, got it. Our next question is from Jacqueline who is wondering if there is an age requirement to be on board. Uh, the age requirement is eight years old. Um, so it is relatively uh, young, I guess, or old depending on how you look at it. Um, traditionally, we see kids about 12 and older uh, when we do see families, but uh, the bare minimum is eight years old. Okay, got it. And Edward is wondering what capacity you are currently sailing at, and we know that everything is changing day by day. So as of right now, we do not have restricted capacity um, due to the makeup of our ships and the limited capacity we do have just in the pure number of staterooms. We are adhering to all social distancing distancing requirements based on the countries that we are selling in. Complete transparency, uh, our ships obviously are, are not yet entirely full. Um, I expect them to start to get to those places towards midsummer in the back half of the sailing season. But in terms of, excuse me, restricted capacity, we are open for sale for the entire ship. Okay, great. And just a few more questions. This one is from Margaret, who is wondering if Avalon is still planning to sail from Budapest to Bucharest. Uh, yes, and the, that has kind of been, so what you'll start to see as we release some more materials in the back half of the second quarter is it's just some different renaming. Um, like when you look at Croatia to the Black Sea, that would hit a lot of the cities that you've probably seen traditionally on the Budapest to Bucharest sailings. Um, and as of right now, none of our product has been restricted with uh, the current, um, I guess we'll call it unrest in Eastern Europe. So any questions that may pertain to that, all of our product is fully operational at this point. Okay, 
Perfect. And our last question from quite a few agents. Uh, they are wondering if there is a training program from Avalon for new agents. There is. So as I was mentioning earlier, let's see, I can actually be able to pull it up since I'm still sharing my screen. Um, so if you do try or log on to the Travel Advisor portal, you just need to head over to Training and Benefits. And if you hit on this, here's some information on the Sweet Rewards FAM program that I was mentioning. But if you go to GFOB University, it's going to make me log in. We have uh, individual chapters dedicated not only to Avalon Waterways, but Globus and Cosmos and Monograms. So all you have to do is come down here, hit Get Started. It will launch a third-party window that we've partnered with to kind of uh, power our G5U program. But there's a full content area, about an hour's worth of training um, specific to Avalon Waterways. And of course, we do have our training schedule available as well with loads of previous recordings. Most of them are on Avalon Waterways. It's some of the biggest requests we get. And then you have the opportunity to see any upcoming training sessions that we may be delivering as well. Okay, got it. And it looks like those are all of our questions. So thank you so much everybody for joining and thank you Corey for all of that wonderful information. Yep, absolutely. And thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, if you need to reach me directly, you can do so. You can see on my screen here, it's webtraining at globusfamily.com. And I'd be happy to answer any additional questions you may have. Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.